Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create and design a blog post created in Elementor for free. I'm working on Elementor since years and have designed hundreds of websites and blogs. And I also have a couple of videos about this topic where I showed you that how we can design a post grid, post slider, post list, and even timelines and tabs. But there were some basic questions on those videos. For instance, where are the posts coming from? Why the images are missing and how we can change the images? So I decided to record a detailed video about Postgrid and will try to answer those questions as well. And then if you show some interest on in this video then I'll continue this series and I'll show you Force Slider in the next video. And the free plugin that we will be using in this video is Ultimate Force Kit. You can download this plugin by going to this link in the description. And this plugin has different looks for the posts that you can explore by going to the link in the description and you can explore these demos. And let me show you a few of these demos and then we'll show you how we can download this plugin and then how we can use it in Elementor. And this is the first look you can see we have the featured image of the post, we have the post category, and then the post title and then some content, the author name and the date. We can customize this look, we can give it a different background, we can change the colors, we can change the fonts and so on. That we will be covering later on in this video. So this is the first example. Then these are some entrance animations like this. And you can see we have a different background here with different category style and image. Then we have another example and so on. And let me show you another look. This is Alex grid demo. This is how it will look. We have the featured image and background. Then this is the other picture, the other name and the date, the force category, the title and read more. So we can also have a look like this one. Next up we have this Elias grid demo where we can have this type of look. You can see on how we can see the category. This is the title, again the other and date and featured image in the background. So we can have this look for a poster as well. Next up, we have this grid where you can see image and how and again category, title, other and read more. Next up, we have maple grid which look like this. So basically you can get idea from these looks and then you can design your force grid accordingly. Next up, we have a mox grid which look like this. This is another look and so on. And this is the reason for this video. My client demanded to have a look like this in his Elementor website. And for achieving this, I'll use the same plugin that I showed you and I'll show you how we can design something like this using free Elementor. And now to get this mind blowing force layouts and to download this plugin for free, follow this link in the description and then click on download free. This will give you a zip file that you can upload to your WordPress plugins. And this is the plugin Ultimate Force Kit. Let's upload this for WordPress. And before uploading the plugin, let me show you that we are only using free Elementor, okay? You can see we are not using Elementor Pro. Now to upload the plugin, just go to plugins, add new, then upload plugin and choose file and select the file that you just downloaded. Click open and install now. And let's activate it. And that's it, plugin activated. You will see another tab here, Ultimate Force Kit. You can just click on it, which will open up a page like this. If you want to get regular updates from this plugin, you can just allow and continue it. And then this will take you to its dashboard. You can see dashboard, core widgets, extensions, API, other settings and so on. Then go to core widgets. And you will see all those widgets that I showed you on the website, okay? And here you can filter them by free and pro widgets. You can filter them by used and unused and you can also search for a specific widget. You can activate all or deactivate all or you can turn on this. You can activate all, you can deactivate all and you can also turn off a specific widget from here. If you want to see the demo of a specific widget, you can just click on this view Elias Grid widget demo and here you can watch a tutorial about this specific widget. Now if you don't want to use all of them, you can just deactivate them and then you can keep the one that you need just to not overload the website. So let's go to free elements and then we will deactivate all and as this video is specifically for grid so we will search for grid and we will only turn these on and then you can go to extensions you can use their animations or multicolor items and the API settings you can integrate MailChimp and Instagram and then we have some other settings like category image, duplicator, live copy paste and so on if you want to like copy paste from another domain, you can turn this feature on. If you want to duplicate your post and pages, you can turn this on. And this is for category images and so on. And now let's see how we can use these elements in Elementor for free. 
before that let me show you where the posts okay so if you go to first in the dashboard you will find all the posts here you can call them news articles or posts you can add new posts and you can add new news and so on these are generally used for articles that you can write on your website and if i edit any of them for example this one this is the first title and this is the first description and this is the featured image these are the main things that we deal in the post okay then we have the post categories you can add new categories from here and you can also manage your categories in the dashboard i'll show you later on you can add text to your post for the seo and so on so again we will see the featured image the description and the title of the post in elementor that i'll show you okay let's go back now let's add a new page edit with elementor and then we'll show you how we can design a force grid okay so let's go to pages add new page i'll call this force grid we'll publish it and then we'll edit this page with elementor and now to get a clean page and hide everything i'll go to settings and we'll change the page layout to elementor canvas and now we have a blank page and now let's start designing the force grid so as i said we will be designing something like this you can see the hover effect you can also notice these rounded corners and now this one we have some shadow and the title category and the force content so let's see how we can design something like this okay so first let's create a container and we'll give this some padding and then we'll add a heading and that's it okay then we'll go to all elements and we'll search for grid and you will see all those elements ls grid ls grid alter grid and so on you can try all of these and you can keep the one that you need and again for the detail look you can check out the demos okay for example if i try this one this will display all my posts in this shape okay this is the featured image this is the category this is the title and read more okay i don't want to keep this so let's remove it we'll search for grid again let's try this one so again this will display my post but in this shape okay please don't get confused by the images and the title these are coming from those posts okay let's remove this one i'll search for grid and i think i have used this one so i'll use it okay not this one let's remove it and let's try this one okay and let's try using alter grid and this is the one that i have used okay and now we can customize it okay so first of all we can try different layouts that you can change here so you can go to style one two or three and this will keep changing the look again you can pick any of these looks i'll go with style one and then we can change the row gap and column gap this is the column gap and this is the row gap if i increase the row gap you can notice it over here let's say 20 is fine okay same goes for the column i'll keep it 25 then this is the image height if you want to give this image a specific height you can change it over here just like this let's remove it to keep the default size this is the image resolution so you can use either thumbnail medium medium large and so on if i change this to thumbnail you can notice this is now blur but if i change this to large the image is now much clean and then these are some flow options you can get the flow version as well then go to query and here you can limit the number of items per page now we are displaying six that you can see here you can change it to three this is how it will look let's go back to six now we are displaying six and then you can decide the source for it so you can display first pages landing pages products menu section so in most cases we will be using this post because we are displaying post here and then you can go more specific you can include or exclude specific post by writing its name or the others or terms and then you can choose a specific date like first day first week and first month if you want to display post from a specific date then these are ordered by so we have ordered them by date you can order them by title ids author or comment count and so on and then we can choose descending or ascending order if you want to ignore sticky post you can turn this on you can make post sticky in your dashboard and then only featured image post that will display only the post which has featured image this one don't have the featured image so if i turn this on this will hide that first let's turn this off and you can give it custom query unique id to allow server side filtering okay the first id can also be found in the dashboard that i'll show you later on 
Then for the additional settings, we can turn off different elements like the image, the title, and category, and so on. So if I turn this off, you won't see titles. Let's bring it back. You can also change the HTML tag for the title. Then if you want to show this text, you can turn this on. You can also turn it off. You won't see text. You can limit the number of text here. And then the strip short code. This is show author. So this is the author. If you don't want to display author, you can turn this off. Then this is the author separator, which is this. Then date, which is this. And human different time. If you enable this, then you will see the data in this format two years ago. Let's remove it. If you want to display time, you can show time like this. And the reading time is pro. Show category, which is this one. You can turn this off. Then primary meta in position, which is this one. Okay. This is the metadata and this is the position. Then force format. So you can turn this on. And this will display an icon which indicates this as a force token. Okay? Then pagination. So if you want to display pagination here, just like this one, you can turn this on. This will not show pagination because we only have six posts. If I limit it under query, I'll make it three. And then you will see pagination. The next three posts will be on the next page. Okay. Let's bring back six. And under additional, we will turn on pagination. And this is item refer link. If you turn this on, then this will activate this link on the whole box. Okay. This whole box is linked to this specific post. If I turn it off, you will notice that only title is linked to this post. And then entrance animations. So if you enable this, then I showed you the entrance animation in the start. It will adopt that look. And for further customizing animation, you can upgrade to the full version. Okay. Let's turn it off because we don't need it. So these were some general settings for the force layout query and edition settings. Now if you want to make changes to the look, you can go to style tab where you can customize the items, the titles, text, meta and also category and force format. Now you can design it the way you want, but I'll go with this look just to show you, okay? So let's try it. So first of all, let's change the background color and also the background color of this box. So for the background color of this section, I'll go to this section, I'll go to style, we'll give it some background like this one okay now let's set it back the force grid and i'll switch to style tab and this is the item which is this whole item okay for the background i'll choose white if you don't have these colors you can just click on it and you can go to white color okay you can notice the white background here and then we don't have this post icon and also we have these rounded corners so let's turn on this icon i'll go to content additional and this is the force format and now to give it rounded corners, we will go back to style and this is the item and here we will go to border radius and give it 30. You can see the rounded corners, but here we don't have the rounded corners, so we will change it. I will unlink this and then for the left I will choose one. You can notice it over here. If you don't see it, I will just change the background color. Now you will see it, okay. This box also has some shadow, so again we can go to its style and the item style and then you will see box shadow just click on it you can notice some shadow here okay you can increase the blur amount and also the vertical amount to 10 just to move it down and then you can change the color as well like this what else we have some background behind the category okay so for that we will go to category style and you can see this is the color and this is the background color so i'll choose a background color for it similar to that color okay let me pick this color okay so i copied its code and we'll paste it here now we can also change the color of this text to black now it's not looking good so we will give this some spacing or fading like 10 we can also make this rounded by giving a border radius of 20 that's it this is the title we can change its color to match this design okay so for that we will go to title and let's give it another color like this. You can also change the color on hour okay. So for example, okay let's change the color to this one and on hour we will give it green. Now you can notice it. And we don't have meta there so I will turn it off. I will go to content, we will go to query, and okay we will go to additional and let's turn it off date and other. You can go to style and then go to text you can change this color or you can change the font family the font size and make it 15 or 14 
and that's it now let's change back this color and let's review it so this is our first grid that we designed with free elementor and under layout let's increase it to 50 and now it looks okay so in this way you can design a force grid using free elementor and using ultimate force grid plugin again this image this title and this text is coming from the dashboard let me show you again in the dashboard you can see first these are the first titles and after editing them you can find the title description and also the featured image that you can change and again the plugin link is in the description box just download it and use it and you can use it the way you want and you want a video about the flag post carousel or a slider just write down a comment and i'll create a video about that as well so i hope the video will be helpful for you for more WordPress tutorial just follow my channel and still if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next